stay the recording or start recording. Hi, helpies. Hello. Hi. Uh, Nesrin, would you like to... Uh, would you like to appear on camera or should we um, keep you, um, you know, without the camera? It's up to you. Just confirm what you would prefer. Okay. Okay. For now, uh, I'm actually speaking, uh, I found disturbance while trying uh, to use the camera before. I have some echoes or something like that. Uh, excuse me if I don't use the camera. It's all right, my dear. No problem. Uh, okay. It's all right. So, okay. Remember, helpies, when I told you before, it's very hard to be a mom uh, and not just talking to helpies, I'm talking to every single lady. It's very hard to be, you know, online and at the same time be a mom, okay? Being a mom or a caretaker uh, where children are around is the worst thing ever. We're caught on camera and bad things happen. Oh yeah? So uh, let's just uh, first uh, introduce our session today, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Hene Khamis, uh, PD uh, Committee Chair. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, June the 24th. Now it is 8 p.m. Cairo time for the next hour. We're going to have a session, a, you know, a coffee uh, night. I've just had, a, you know, my coffee mug with me here, a glass mug. Okay, uh, tea or coffee mug we, with us here for a, a, a very informal uh, kind of professional talk. What we do is uh, share ideas, uh, share questions, share experiences, and we learn from each other along the way. Okay, so today's um, title is Gamified Professional Development uh, for teachers under lockdown. And gamified here uh, is not necessarily related to our students, okay? We've had enough with students and it's time, we owe it to ourselves to entertain ourselves as teachers. Uh, yeah, it might be professional and professional purposes later on. It's fine because everything becomes professional in a teacher's life. One way or another, we cannot help it. However, it's just, we need to just unwind a little. Uh, if we want to, um, you know, uh, practice something like, you know, uh, gamified teaching learning, uh, it's always best to start as a learner yourself, you know, find your way, all right? It's a very difficult area for people like ourselves, our age. It's easier for the little ones, okay, the younger generation, because they simply uh, can, uh, you know, um, manage their way better than we do. Uh, they're so fast. I mean, they are the geners, internet generation, online gamers. So we lag behind. And uh, maybe as uh, Nisreen and Nisra told me the other day, yeah, um, in order to get the rules of games and online gaming, she had to resort to her cousin, little cousin, in order to help her around gaming. She had to bribe him one way or another. I'm sure she did bribe him. You tell us about that later, Nisreen. Tell us what it takes to ask a little one uh, right. to sit down and uh, you know uh, help you around, okay? Because it's not easy, we understand. Um, so, the difference, a quick difference, we don't, we're not going to talk uh, about theory here. Remember, I'm giving time to our speakers here to show us uh, around. And we're going to ask them here to, uh, you know, each one is going to take like five minutes at the beginning and maybe five, minute, five minutes at the end, give or take in order to, uh, you know, first show us around uh, what they have been practicing and, inspire us, okay, with what they have uh, achieved. And for myself, I just would like first to give you an idea here about what we mean by gamified practice. Gamifying practices here 
it's to add game uh, features to something that is not actually and not necessarily a game. Um, we can do anything and add certain features. For example, uh, add points, the idea of giving points, bonuses, all right? Uh, promoting somebody, uh, giving them like, you know, on a, a board, okay, um, you know, user board, you just rank people, who's the top, who is the second and so on, uh, give, giving badges, uh, as I said, etc., cetera, et cetera. Uh, giving them like, you know, when you play games, uh, sometimes there is something called redemption. So I lose something, maybe I lose one life. So to redeem myself, they offer me something here, like a power up to help myself redeem my lost life so I don't end the game soon, it's not game over, and so on and so forth. So I can play a game of chess or Scrabble, all right? And in a group, I can you know, start getting points. I can do anything else, not necessarily a game, all right, for example, like a quiz, and that's what quiz makers nowadays do, like you well know Kahoot, uh, quizzes and this and that, they do that. It's like content based. And what they do is that content based uh, quiz, they turn it around and add certain features as I've just shared. Okay. So it's the timer. Okay. Countdown timer, the challenge of time. Um, the giving, uh, you know, uh, you know, power ups, uh, you know, uh, help like ask a friend. Remember when we had who wants to be a millionaire? You have three, uh, you know, uh, cards. Either ask somebody to help you. Uh, there is 50 50 where they delete two out of four uh, options to help you. And I don't remember the third, whatever. So these are ways to gamify some practice. All right. So you, you can use that in a class and you can play around with these rules, create these rules uh, of a game and so on, all right? So what we're going to do at this point is the following, okay? I'm going to turn the floor first to um, Nisreen to uh, tell us a little about her experience with gamification. She's had a long, long experience with both game-based learning and gamified learning. Um, she's going to tell us for something like five to seven minutes, up to her, uh, about what she has for us. Then we're going to listen to Helpies and then, uh, you know, wait. Okay, so let's start first by Nisreen. Nisreen, are you ready? Yes, of course, Dr. I'm ready. Shall okay. I start? Please, the floor is all yours. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say good evening, and uh, it's my pleasure to be with you all here. Thank you, Dr. Hana, for inviting me to share in this very distinguished event. Um, I'd like uh, to talk about gamification from the perspective of teacher professional development. And to start with, I'd like to say that the best investment due to the researchers uh, is the investment in people. Caring about the well-being of uh, self and others have become the ultimate goal of all institutions right now. Accordingly, gamification emerged to, as a guide to serve this purpose. Gamification, in a, in a very simple way, it's not game. It's not game-based learning. And to, to clarify the idea between the difference between game and game-based learning and gamification. A game is something like uh, the sneak and the ladder or that's something that uh, that is played for fun. Game-based learning is using one of the games like, uh, for example, Hangman or something like that. Hangman is also used for fun. And we do use uh, Hangman, we might be using Hangman to teach vocabulary or something like that. Accordingly, Hangman here is game-based learning. And then we might be talking about gamification. Gamification is using what we used in games and game-based learning to apply in real life situations. So it's not gaming, it's not related at all of whatsoever to playing games. It's using the game-based elements in uh, real life situations. And uh, uh, to, to, to clarify this, uh, I'm just going to tell you um, about how we can uh, 
um, uh, deal with that in real life. For example, when we get into one of the shopping centers or a mall or something like that, and I find a shop saying, buy one and get one free. So I'll get directly uh, to that shop in order to, uh, to buy one and get one free. Uh, in spite of the fact that I might not be in need of it, but I'll buy it for the sake of uh, getting the one free. Uh, also, if we look at our little kids, uh, uh, children try to buy Kinder the chocolate, which is like an egg, which has an egg shape, because it has a toy inside. They prefer to have it for, ha for playing with that toy. Anyhow, Gamification is a purposeful strategy for motivating others. To, uh, to sum up uh, what I have just said and relate that to the educational situation, uh, we as teachers might be working uh, on uh, gamifying uh, our um, practices uh, and uh, by motivating each other. And uh, to do so, we need to talk about uh, who, who is the target audience at the very beginning. Am I a teacher with some of my colleagues? Am I a, a supervisor with some teachers, a coordinator with teachers, or a teacher with the students? A teacher with the students is something, is an issue that we talked yesterday, Dr. Annette, that we are going to talk about in a different session. So today we're concentrating on how to uh, uh, relate it to professional development and professional development only. Uh, at schools, uh, sometimes uh, we notice that uh, there are some reluctance from some teachers to perform some tasks. If these tasks are gamified, for example, and to make it very, very simple, for uh, the, the reserved periods or the, the monitoring during the, uh, the, the recess or something like that. These are um, tasks that are not very well, uh, are not very well accepted by teachers. If, uh, uh, if I gamify that by adding points, if you did so, I'll give you more points. And uh, if you have these points, you will, you will be upgraded to another level um, to, um, to have um, bonuses or something like that. Uh, to start simple and to start in a very nice uh, way uh, and show you how to gamify uh, your, um, your um, uh, practices, uh, to start with a bottom-up messaging, uh, to tell the teachers that you do have uh, what they will get, what is the reward, and then to tell them what they are going to do. The reward first, and then what they are going to do. So we might conduct a meeting about uh, what, we are, what we are in need of having, um, what is the best thing that the teacher might be in need of having um, as a reward? Can you write that in the chat, please? The rewards that you might be very satisfied if, uh, if you are a teacher. Just I'm waiting for you in the chat. Rewards. Okay, what are the rewards? Money. <laughs> okay. Certificates. Okay. Uh, badges, okay. Course offers or books, okay, okay. Great promotion. So uh, this is the list of the rewards that I might be uh, having from one of the of the schools, uh, and it, it depends on the budget of the school and something like that. Chocolate, okay, help is okay, um, and other presents and uh, less teaching um, uh, loads, of course. I accept all this. Uh, uh, all what we have to do is uh, uh, just to give points to each of these uh, 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 rewards that we have just mentioned right now. For example, to um, get a PD book or to get chocolate, you might have, uh, um, for example, you um, come on, of course, chocolate certificates. Uh, certificates means that you attend the course. Um, but uh, Giving points here, uh, let us minimize it to just two in order to give the, a clear idea. If I am a well-off school and I, I might be offering teachers to travel abroad to attend the conference or attend the professional development course uh, abroad. So uh, I'll offer this a thousand or 10,000 points. And uh, accordingly to reach these 10,000 points, uh, teachers should be working in order to get that. Uh, to get that, they have to work on certain tools. And these tools are 
uh, working effectively in dealing with, uh, for example, um, uh, the um, uh, sharing, uh, um, sharing in reading a book or uh, summarizing an article, monitoring, mentoring a colleague or discussing a video, uh, any, any means of professional development. Can you suggest some, some professional development uh, ideas, please, on the chat? Any professional development ideas? Okay. Training, presentation, giving a presentation, okay. Uh, peer coaching, okay, accepting that peer observation. These, all these might be very good ideas for uh, 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 to be set as tools for uh, working on your uh, professional development ideas in order to attain your rewards. So, to uh, to set an, uh, to set the rule, class visits, okay. Uh, specific training, especially presentations, attending webinars, okay, accepting all this. As a group of teachers uh, with, with the school uh, administration, we might be uh, having a meeting and uh, conduct that to set certain points uh, for attaining the rewards and certain points if I achieved one of the, of the mentioned professional development uh, ideas that was mentioned right now. For example, if I attended the webinar, I would have 10 points. If I had a class visit, I would have 50 points. If I had uh, attended a conference, um, uh, on-site is something, and attending a virtual conference is another issue. Uh, accordingly, uh, we might set these points, uh, and teachers are going to be working uh, in a very effective way, and they are going to be positively competing. Uh, related to this, and uh, uh, to simplify it, we need to start in a very simple portion. I don't want, or any, anyone who is to start gamification shouldn't start by 10 points for professional development or 10 points for rewards. I might be starting for three or four maximum and giving them uh, um, yani, uh, very small amounts of number of points and numbers. And uh, I might be promoting that with badges in order, for example, if you uh, had a peer coaching or uh, mentored one of your colleagues for six times, I'll give you a bonus of 100 points and so on and so forth. So to sum up what I said, uh, the gamification uh, is to use, non, to use the gamification elements in a non-game context. To use that, uh, uh, the gamification elements are the RTR. What are the RTR? The R is rules, tools, and rewards. The rules is the points that we set for each point, for each thing. And the tools are the professional development ideas and the uh, Rewards are the offers that we are going to have uh, to finalize what we are in need of having. Uh, finally, uh, my, uh, my recommendation, uh, yeah, uh, according to what I have applied before, is to start small, start with very short, very, very small number of ideas. And uh, the best thing is that to relate it to real life situation and to make it affordable, affordable for uh, regarding those who are going to apply for uh, according to their competency, their skills, and affordable to the school who is, go who is going to offer the rewards. And this is very, very, very important because the school, if, if, it, said, if it is said that they are going to offer them a traveling abroad, a full time, a full, um, a full board traveling abroad to a conference, they should fulfill that. And, um, uh, uh, most, most important is uh, to experiment and accept, accept, accept protesters because there are going to be a lot of protesting about that because it's something new. Uh, accept mistakes. And my final word is to start uh, by addressing real need and uh, uh, finally invest in or with whoever is interested in uh, working. Invest in yourself, invest in people, and thank you very much. Thank you, my dear Nisreen.
Um, um, is there uh, any pressing question that we can have here in the chat box that we would like to ask Nisreen before we start listening to Helpies? All right. Um, well, I'm not really sure, Mr. Memduhate, you're sharing some uh, link. I'm not sure what this is. All right. Any, any pressing question here? Maybe we can keep it till um, we're done here with the second part. Helpies, what do you have for us here? You're full of ideas and fun and games. The floor is yours, you, my dear. Dr. Thank you, Dr. Hene, for this invitation. And uh, I'd like to uh, say hi to all my colleagues. Uh, I miss you all. Um, I would like to share something with you. And Helpies, are you all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. checking. This is, this is a photo. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, how do you feel today? And we will play a, a small game. How do you feel today? Each one can choose uh, an emotion to express himself and you can write in the chat box. Okay. That's challenging Great. to decide. Uh, okay. How do I feel today? Happy place. Okay. Happy place. Because I'm... For me, lol. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. I was at the beginning uh, a little bit bummed. Okay. At the beginning of the day. Now I'm happy place because I'm with friends and colleagues. See what happens when you do professional development? Well, I'm going to mute all and then give you the chance to unmute uh, helpies, okay? Uh, thank you all for uh, uh, sharing your feelings. Um, I liked uh, Miss Nisreen, uh, the RTR, uh, the three uh, parts concept. It was uh, very good. Uh, but uh, this game, uh, how do you feel today? I asked you about your feeling and uh, when you feel uh, that the, the presenter or the teacher is asking you about your feeling, so you feel it is personalized. You, you can express yourself. Uh, how do our uh, students like, it? to what uh, degree do our students like us to uh, ask them about their feelings? You can write in the chat box, please. How do our students like uh, when we ask them about their feelings or themselves or their experience, do they like it? Yes, um, Miss Salma, uh, always, uh, Miss Azza, they really like it. Uh, Mr. Moros, they do like it, they feel highly appreciated, they always appreciate it. Yes, everyone likes to express himself. So um, when we start our lesson or in the middle of our lesson, like what we do now, we are in the middle of our presentation and I ask you about it, how do you feel? Um, why? why? Why do I use this um, changing game? I broke the routine of the, the meeting and asked you a, a question or a game outside the, the, the curriculum or uh, the, the subject we are talking about. Why? Why do I use this? 
break the ice. Um, Asma, to grab attention, Miss Salma. Okay. What else? When we when we play a game with our students, or or when we choose to play a game with our students, when we need to play a game with our students, or to gamify something. Uh, Ms. Nusreen and Dr. Hana told us that uh, gamification is not playing a game, but uh, to, to put the, the game rules in, uh, in our uh, curriculum, which is not gamified. Uh, to, to, use, to, to put the rules, uh, to give the students motiv motivation, to, uh, to break the boredom of the lesson, to attract attention, Ms. Marwa. There is something important uh, in gamification. I think it helps our students to learn to cooperate. When we divide our students into teams and ask each team to uh, try to get the most points, uh, we give them, um, uh, the, we, we teach them the importance of um, Operation, uh, learning through fun, challenging. All these are good um, aims for gamification. We competitive, very good. Creativity also. We help them to use their creativity in gamification. Engaging. You are so creative, all of you. Uh, so, uh, uh, Dr. Hannah told me uh, you will not pre present, you will uh, discuss something, uh, it's a, a, a good time we will spend together to drink coffee, so I will not talk too much, uh, but um, I, I wanted to ask you about your feelings today uh, with the, some kind of a change. Uh, and I wanted to uh, ask you about why do we use gamification in our lesson? Uh, the last thing I, I want to uh, share a, a personal experience with you uh, about gamification, but in, in my normal life, not, not in my classroom. Um, uh, when my kids were young, uh, Dr. Anna uh, <laughs> talked about our kids. <laughs> when my kids were young, um, about five eight years old. Helpies, um, I'm sorry I muted. Yes, sorry. You, you can go back. Okay. okay. When my kids were young, uh, about from five to eight years old, uh, they uh, used to be um, uh, so naughty and they didn't obey any order I asked them to do. Uh, but um, I try to uh, think about uh, a positive way to help them to do so. I used a board and divided it into their names. I used to write uh, the name of each child on the board. Uh, I asked them to do something and you will take a happy face if you did so. And you will take a sad face if you didn't do so. And at the end of the week, we will count the faces. The one with the most faces will win. So this gives them motivation to be as good as they can. Uh, help is I did it again. Um, they tried. They tried to do their best to uh, to get the reward at the end of the week. Uh, and when they grew up, <laughs> now, why don't you put this board for us? I told them that you are uh, too old to do so, <laughs> but they, uh, they, they want it. So uh, everyone needs um, uh, to have fun when he learn. Uh, everyone needs to uh, uh, enjoy learning. Uh, when we get bored, so we lose our learning process. When our students uh, feel boredom, they uh, can't uh, learn at all. Uh, thank you.
to all of you, and thank you, Dr. Hane, to give me this a chance. Thank you, my dear. Okay, can you just um, stop sharing the screen and we can see you? All right, perfect. That was real interesting, my dear. Um, glad that you shared your experience. Tell you what, I'm going to just get into the thing. Let's wade in together. My part of gamification and what they, this means. Now, for starters, I shared uh, the name of a program with you up there in the chat box. Can, can you uh, look back again? Point a gram, right? Okay, did you see that? Right, that was number one uh, I put in the chat box. Point a gram, uh, I would like you to explore it, okay? It allows you what Nisreen has talked about earlier, okay? Um, so it's about you creating a system for your workers or your, uh, you know, your mentees, if you're a mentor or a supervisor. That helps you uh, create a system of rewards, a system of points. You can start by asking different questions, asking them to do different interactions. I also mentioned pogo.com where it does help me play uh, my, my uh, traditional games that I love to have. So here you have, you have a question. I had a hand raised. If you would like, you can put your question in the chat box. Now, something else, uh, I mean, Pogo has two of my favorite games. The first one is, uh, I told you about Scrabble. Uh, please type number, uh, type one if you play Scrabble, uh, you know, the hard, the hard thing, the real life thing, not necessarily the online version. Yeah, that, that's been like my favorite thing ever. How about Monopoly? mo no po Lee. I hope I got it right. Yes, I did. How many of you play Monopoly? One. What is the Arabic, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Arabic equivalent for Monopoly? What's the equivalent? Uh, yeah, Bank al Haz. Yes, that was my most favorite. I, I loved the money, okay, all the money, the stacks of money, huh? that we went along the way yes yeah although at the very end i would just you know be broke yeah i remember being broke and my okay i played that with my brothers and so on and there's that one person who really manages to get it all and i would get bro broke but never mind it was fun there are now okay a couple of questions here that i'm going to throw into the chat box and and share with you the fastest person to get the answer will get a reward of 10 points and a badge, okay? 10 points and a badge. All right, I'm trying to apply game rules here. What does this stand for? MMOG. The fastest to get the answer, type it in the chat box, are going to get 10 points and a badge. I'm gonna post it. Anybody's got the answer? Not yet. Not yet. Oh my God. Nobody's got the answer yet. Okay. Anybody? Clock is ticking. 10. Yes. Yes. Who got it? It's Emeni. Of course, Emeni massively multiplayer online game. Can I ask uh, my uh, co-hosts, Helpies and Nisreen, to keep a note of that to, so I don't forget? Yeah, please. I mean, if I have a board, a leaderboard, I, I should put next to, um, you know, um, Esme's name, I should put 10 points and a badge, all right? So that's number one thing, okay? So do not Forget my dear uh, friends here, helpies and the three. I have another question here. How about this one here? Uh, just a second. Okay, there is another one here coming. How 
How about this one? What does this mean? What does it stand for? Okay, Abir, you got it, but you got it next. Emeni got number one. See now who gets this one. Clock is ticking. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Uh, Salma, you're close, but not fully. Uh, I need a full answer. Four, three, yeah, very close, Abdelati, but not Maha Ibrahim, yes. I need a full, it's an acronym. Yes, Sally Abdel, we have got this one. Uh, maybe not mobile, but it's massively multiplayer role play online game. Yes, it's massively, okay? Massively multiplayer online, I mean, role play online game, okay? So this is another term now. All these terms now are taking us to gamification proper online, all right? So, web results. So now, who got the second answer again? Is that Celia Abdul Wahib, right? So I would kindly ask Helpies and Nasreen to help me with this one. Okay, guys, a third question here. Okay, what does this mean? Premium. What does this mean? Premium. Clock is ticking again. 10, nine, eight. Diane, wonderful to hear from you, Diane. Uh, well, I think Di Diane got it right. All right, somebody is sharing, Sally. So it's a business model, especially on the internet where basic services, let's read it, okay, uh, from, okay, what Sally said. Uh, yes, uh, Sally, I would like to unmute you. Will you, pro will you uh, uh, try to unmute? Okay, let me unmute or allow you to unmute. All right. Sally, I would like you to read it. Yes, please. Huh? Can you um, speak? Can you share with my, your microphone? Yes, Sally. Okay. Hello. It's good to hear Hi. you. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, alhamdulillah. So read okay. your, uh, yeah, your answer here. Uh, what it's does... a business model, especially on the internet, whereby basic services are provided free of charge while more advanced features must be paid for. So it means that um, it offers uh, the users some uh, free of charge, uh, of charge services while you have to pay to uh, like getting a premium uh, service. Nice, is thank it, you. Is it there. right? It is right, it is right. Yes. Can thank we, you. thank you, and you are a winner too. So I would ask again wow. my <laughs> co-hosts, uh, Helpies <laughs> and Nisreen to note Sally's uh, or Sally down, okay? You thank, you. Uh, thank <laughs> you. All right, so you keep the points till the end of the year. I can just like sign you up for some uh, kind of promotion or promotional kind of thing. I'm not really sure, but you're getting there. Thank you're you. on my list. <laughs> okay, so you see now we have now three answers, okay? Um, okay, what's the next question here? It is. Okay, um, now let me just take you back to the freemium here. The freemium, there is something called freemium as described by Sally here. It's a, you know, that's the business model here of playing games and enjoying the, the free, uh, you know, perks uh, and the features. And when you get excited about it and you'd like to go to a higher level, you simply uh, subscribe and open up the rest of the, uh, you know, the features, if you wish, all right? There is freemiums, okay, there is uh, free to play, there is pay to play, okay, all these are available. Uh, 
pay to play means you cannot uh, uh, get on the platform and start playing okay with a group unless you pay or every time you're charged something all right the idea is it's massive it's like MOOCs okay the massively uh, you know uh, multiplayer uh, idea here is based on MOOCs as well okay you know MOOCs uh, so many of you uh, are already uh, doing MOOCs right so the idea of massive massively means it's all from all over the world okay people who you don't really know all right and you start connecting okay and building communities the point is together it's either you collaborate in teams and get points or it could be individual and you compete against each other i've been exploring some of these games trying to install some but still i'm struggling okay the the easiest for me was just scrabble which is you know the traditional scrabble but the multi you know player kind of games seem to need a little bit of more sophisticated steps and need a little bit of patience and if you can afford to find you know some youngsters around your family who are into you know uh, computer games they're gonna help you around okay uh, tell okay uh, nisreen and nisra please tell them the secret okay how to do that because you already did with your cousin all right so let me just share some of those games um if you wish i already have them open um so uh if you just give me a moment all right there we go so so the first one ever is okay so if you just as you can uh see here everyone here went to uh wikipedia to go for okay those uh mul massively uh-huh multiplayer online games and they went for a list all right a list of those the idea of role playing is fascinating to me all right and i would like to share my screen if i can do that i'll uh, go back here to the software try to s okay so uh okay that's me trying to share and this is chrome i'm not really 100 percent sure it's doing that okay quit now all right i may have to send you the link it's easier i don't want to mess the video here okay so let me just save time if you don't mind so all right sometimes yeah under the pressure of time things weird things happen okay there we go the list i had okay of uh m m o online role playing games are the following okay i've selected either free to play or free uh, you know uh, freemiums all right so there is for example <clears throat> uh one related to pirates all right pirates you know the pirates of the caribbean uh, model right you know that game if you are fond of pirates of the caribbean you may be interested huh, in this one i'm going to share it in the chat box there we go it's easier this way so once again uh, it says it's pirates of the burning sea it gives you some background here um first about what is uh, the game all about because every game has a certain plot that's what i love about this it has a plot and then based on the plot there is some sharing it's not just vocabulary that you actually exchange there is vocabulary involved there is culture involved there is history involved so many here are based for example on medieval times some are 
uh, related to uh, you know uh, history, the Egyptian history, ancient Egypt uh, history, which is interesting. Okay, so this is one of those that I have chosen for you. I've also um, chosen this one, another one of those, and this one is plane shift, plane shift. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm sharing it, yes. The idea here, yes, Selma, it's not just, uh, yeah, critical thinking is involved. Life skills are involved, you see, life skills. So we're not just focusing on vocabulary, grammar, th th this, that, and the other, no. It's critical thinking, there is decision making all the time you are making decisions about what to do how to, you know how to make business transactions lots of stuff uh, is based on buying and sharing you know and maybe swapping uh you know with somebody uh, you start learning things about you know you go online and start trading stuff uh you know you can get certain extras for free if you get a number of points so use the points to buy stuff that was, you know, was not free before, you see? So that helps you do that. What else did I find for you in that list? Um, maybe I would suggest a couple more. I'd like those ones, uh, yeah, who are into games to help me uh, play those games and try to have fun with them and see if we can learn certain lessons out of them. And there is one that is intriguing indeed. I really love this one. This one is called Salem. It's S-A-L-E-M. So, I wonder if you know the history of Salem. What is that related to S-A-L-E-M? Can you just brainstorm and tell me the words that come to your mind related to Salem? Witches, witch hunts, bravo. Historically speaking, Salem, that's that city or town where witches were burnt on the stake, all right? Yes. So actually, it's very interesting indeed. The game itself is called Salem. I'm not really sure how it you know how it's like inside but i'm sure it's fascinating it gives me this feeling that you know you're going to adopt certain characters all right there and even defend somebody or maybe throw certain spells like harry potter kind of world if you're into the uh you know harry potter good wizards bad wizards and so on and so forth so i would say this one is worth trying as well um Lots of these need certain requirements, meaning you have to, some of them are web-based, need to be installed on a desktop or a laptop. Others uh, could be played on cell phones, but I haven't found so many out of this, these, okay, uh, on cell phones yet. There are maybe others, okay, uh, on cell phones. Um, I may explore later because this is a brand new area for me, honestly. Yeah, uh, I, I've been away uh, this, uh, this area for some time, and that is why, all right, I'm treading that one very slowly. So I hope you understand here what we are really uh, sort of like uh, exploring together. Uh, now, this one here could be of interest to some of you, I'm not sure, but let me share it anyways. Um, it's about historical maritime, again, marine life, maritime, that could be fascinating to certain groups, certain teachers. So as you will see, these are like, you know, the pages on, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, Wikipedia explaining the background and, you know, so you understand what the game is all about first, okay? before you go to the you know home page of the game all right and you sign up for an account maybe if necessary and most probably it is necessary then you put down okay 
you, you install because several need installation of Java, maybe Flash, Flash Player or other, all right, EXE files. So it, it takes some time and effort to do these things. And then you start finding yourself around the game, all right? The nice thing is there are videos, all right, if you would like to go through videos on how to play the game. There are like, you know, cheat sheets, as they say. There could be snapshots, okay, and so on and so forth. There is help. You can actually find communities of people huh, playing and helping each other around and how to go, on, you know, uh, up um, uh, or, I mean, win uh, levels or get promoted in these games. Uh, on this note, I'll have to stop and open the floor for questions if you wish to share. All right. So I am allowing you to unmute if you wish. Uh, so give, just give me a second. Yeah. So I'll allow you to unmute if you wish to share a question, a comment, or you would like uh, to, uh, you know, via text or maybe audio, you can, you feel free, uh, free to share that with us. Thank you very much for your, uh, uh, you know, being, uh, you know, so uh, interested in our talk today. And we do appreciate it. Question time and help, please uh, feel free to uh, show. Uh, on camera. Yes, please, Dr. Rada. Hello. Uh, hello, Ragab. Hello, Mr. Ragab. How are you? We're, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, really a great effort, and I'm happy to share this session, in fact. But um, I wonder if you could um, summarize the session, please, and in, in the main points. I mean, yes. Yeah. Try to summarize the session, yes. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, this session was basically about, okay, as it, it, its title says, it's, it is Gamified Professional Development for Teachers Under Lockdown, uh, implying that uh, we teachers, we need a little bit of fun to understand, okay, uh, how to, uh, you know, have fun on our own um, using computer games, okay, uh, but not just any kind of computer games. I'm not the type to play Candy Crush, if, if you wish. I'm not that kind of person, all right? Uh, some people take that as a, like, you know, um, one activity and so on that would, like, un, you know, uh, uh, keep your mind at ease and so on. But we can do better with our time, you see? So a compromise here is that, uh, you know, field co called game-based learning, or another field that is very similar to it called gamification, right? So how can we possibly gamify our practices? Because we're teachers among each other, I directed that uh, okay, session to just us as teachers. So if we wish to create groups, groups that start playing, okay, games, all right? Uh, and then, okay, maybe we can uh, bond with each other and start creating some uh, meaningful discussions, okay, related to these games, especially so many of these are historically based, culturally based, all right, contextually based, etc. all right. Uh, each of uh, our speakers today have taken a perspective. We started with Nisreen and Nisr, who really uh, gave us a good list here of how she as a supervisor, all right, would uh, perceive gamification as a system, uh, which is like, you know, a system of rules, game rules that you apply huh, to uh, non-game situations, right? Non-game situations means she works with fellow teachers. She would like to motivate them with a system of, you know, uh, rules such as like, you know, how to, to get points, how to, uh, you know, have a, a, a leaderboard where they are or where they receive ranks, all right? How to create a system where there is some sort of compensation or maybe, uh, I would say, incentive uh, that at the end would amount to something tangible, all right? For example, if we 
could uh, you know collect the you know the highest points or the most badges received so you can uh, win something like uh, a conference trip all right so you go for a face-to-face -face trip to one of these conferences worldwide uh, so that is in a nutshell what uh, uh, you know Nisreen did and she can correct me if I'm wrong Helpies, okay started off uh, with uh, some conversation here about, uh, you know, uh, using that, uh, um, you know, uh, chart, okay, of uh, emoticons or emojis. And she started creating a practical example to uh, help us, okay, uh, with, um, you know, gamifying our session today as professionals and so on. And again, I'll, I'll hand it to Helpies to summarize her part. Finally here, I shared with you something I stumbled on, uh, which is basically, I'm typing it again, MMO, okay, and which is massively huh, multiplayer online games or massively uh, multiplayer online role playing games, okay? These two terms are very commonly used in the field of game-based learning and gamification, both of them, all right? Uh, these are more complex level or complex games. They are higher level, more uh, demanding, okay, where each one uh, uses, a, you know, their own remote, con I mean, remote computer, all right? Uh, we get, okay, uh, interacting or we start interacting with each other, playing an actual game starting to adopt certain characters, okay? Uh, assume a certain character. You become a witch, for example. Uh, you uh, start using wands, okay? You start uh, casting spells, if that's the context. If it's the wizardy world, for example, or witchcraft, all right? Uh, there is something else related to marine, okay? Marine life. Uh, again, and historical. So it's going to draw on the, the kind of vocabulary related to you know marine life and so on and so forth. So that's in a nutshell what I wanted to share. So we can start exploring that area a little bit more hands-on. For our purposes, having fun, you know, uh, coming up with the skills, okay, critical thinking skills, uh, decision-making skills, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to enhance, okay, these skills practically. Uh, that's me. And if uh, Ms. Reen or Helpies would like to share, I'll be happy to hand uh, the floor. May I, may I add something, doctor, please? Of course, be my guest. Okay. Thank you, thank you, dear. Uh, the idea of, uh, of gamification is um, a change of a lifestyle. Uh, it's a lifestyle uh, way that we, we have to change uh, and we have to read more about gamification. Gamification is not um, a strategy that is to be um, uh, summarized or talked about uh, in just uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, um, gamification, uh, when applied, uh, miracles happened, actually. Like what Helpy just, just mentioned, uh, in, at home with her kids, just motivating them with the emojis or the smiley faces, uh, the, the children uh, worked effectively and uh, they did what she actually told them uh, and what they were supposed to be doing. Uh, what if we applied this with teachers? And this is what I talked about earlier. Uh, check what we are in need of and add points, add incentives, add rewards. And all these are going to uh, add towards having best practices in our schools, in our classes, in our life, with our kids, with everyone we know. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nisreen. Um, I think Sally Abdulwahab has got a question. Um, I cannot see it for myself. I asked her to type it again. Hello. Oh yeah, excuse me. Ah yeah, Sally is asking a question. I'd like to ask about MM uh, online role-playing games. Does it give the players a script? Are, the, are there uh, options to enable the teacher to add a customized strip, uh, script? What, what we're uh, actually interested here in, I mean, there are uh, 
certain games that are called open source say open source means you can take these games and customize them very much like what people do with Moodle for example but this needs programming knowledge right whether you would like to use some of these games and um, adapt them in certain ways so you can have a script why don't you that's for student purposes which is you know not the exact focus of today's session or today's coffee night yes by all means everything is adaptable if you can build on the actual game or right, get people to play and then Dr. And who is speaking? Helpies, please. Yes, excuse me. Uh, I would like to uh, to share a link with the tons of MMO games. Uh, I have it and I would like to share it with you. Uh, I write it in the chat box and you, uh, my colleagues can uh, see it. It uh, has... Uh, many games uh, more than 100 okay can you copy paste it again i would love to yes. see it yeah please i also would like to uh, share um, uh, an app but uh, but it's for ios only not android um, okay. The app is called uh, Puppet Master. Interesting. Uh, for some reason, I came across it, but I can't tell. What is it about? Uh, it's about um, uh, moving the drawings, Yanis. If the student can draw, uh, we can move the drawing to act uh, or role play a story. Uh, we ask our students to draw the characters and uh, take a photo to the character. Uh, then um, the student to move in front of the camera uh, of the mobile so the app moves the, the, the drawing itself not the student the student uh, doesn't appear but the, the drawing uh, is moving now uh, so we can have something like a cartoon or uh, yes animations yes. but, but nice. the cartoon is of their own drawings very nice, very nice indeed. On drawings. It's very interesting, but it's for iOS only. Yeah, and by the way, if you, you wish to explore uh, MM, which is massively uh, multiplayer games on iPads, tablets, and cell phones, there are loads of those, but uh, as I told you earlier, I, I'm wading through that area step by step. I already started playing a game i remember back in time like i would say like 10 years ago when i first got my ipad um it's a matter of like it's very much like that farm where you start building stuff you know collecting eggs uh planting flowers and trees and so on and earning points and so on and so forth uh again this kind of you know experience and it's very addictive mind you the point is it takes me hours and hours just you know earning all that these points and you know enjoying uh you know collecting eggs and you know doing this that and the other so there are those based on cell phones um and uh you know um i would say smartphones or uh, you know tablets i uh, you know iPads and so on all right so but that would be a second you know you know a second session not or a later session not right away so one thing at a time all right a any further uh, questions or yeah, Dr. Yeah. Hana, I think Reem, uh, Reem Nadib is having a question and yeah sure uh, Hani, uh, as well is having uh, oh yeah Roshdi is having a question yeah please please will you please un unmute yourselves in order to yeah one by one please yeah, Abir says conquer. Yeah, uh, her sons, her sons play conquer. That's interesting. Uh, Tehani and Tehani Rojdi and and Reem Nagib. Reem, please. Uh, hello, Reem. Hello, Tehani. Would you please start? Do you know how to unmute yourself? Let me try help you. Reem, 
you're there. I'm asking you to unmute. Yes, dear. Hi, dear. How is everything? Hi, Irene. Hi. Wonderful. Thank you so much for for your lovely um, uh, meeting. Thank you so much for enriching us with the new ideas. I thank really appreciate you. it. A pleasure and honor. Uh, thank you so much, and thank you for the uh, the acronyms, the lovely acronyms. I'll start working on them, and I st I've already started searching. So thank Please you for do. everything. Please do. <laughs> Yeah. We'd, love, we'd love to see you on one of these games and share with it. You know, I would like to have a community of gamers so we help each other. You're very innovative. Um, um, I have a question, yes. but uh, you have already answered. I have a question for Nisreen. Um, I know she is the pre the queen of gamification, so yes. I wanted some. Uh, yeah, so I wanted her to share with us some. Um, um, real ideas of uh, online games because actually uh, on Nile Tissel presentations she, she has already shared some one-to-one uh, -one games that could be done in classrooms. However, during COVID-19 we are facing um, um, a huge problem which is how to gamify a lesson virtually. So that was actually my question and could be to, the, to, to all the, um, to the ad attendees uh, as well. Sure. Okay, I'm ready, Reem. Um, uh, thank you very much for uh, for your nice uh, compliment. Uh, uh, here we can uh, use uh, something or a website called Class Dojo, and uh, by Class Dojo we uh, we might uh, apply gamification techniques. And this is what I, I have just written right right now in the chat box. Also, we have. Um, um, uh, badges.com. Badges.com is very easy for uh, enabling teachers or parents to to help uh, um, towards uh, giving uh, badges for different performances of whatever uh, teach students or kids are doing. Or even uh, if we'd like to work on that with teachers, it would be very great. Badges would be working with teachers, but class dojos because of the avatars and the characters mentioned there, it won't be that very effective for teachers because it's very childish, I think. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Nasreen. I'm sure you have a lot more to share. Yeah, thank of course. You so yes, thank you. Welcome, Reem. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't have any questions. I just thought something of... Uh... <laughs> okay. It's, <laughs> oh, it's, not, it's not the raise hand where you were... I was, yeah, you know, you like had, approving you had, something. Yeah, you were saying approving, thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're th okay, and it's great to have you, Tahani. We have a thank project you. for you. Uh, I, I'll discuss it with you offline. So we have. Yeah, you know, sure, sure. If this you works, have some extra gonna be time. Great. If you, yeah, if, sure. Okay. It's going to be great. Yeah, we thank have a, a project okay. for you and others. So let's take that offline. Thank you. All right, uh, ladies yeah, and gentlemen, great. any further questions or comments before we officially uh, sign off the session? Uh, seems we don't. Uh, thank you all. Um, I'm really uh, grateful for each and every one of you who really has taken the time to join us here in this uh, coffee night, the second uh, coffee night uh, of our series, Professional Development Committee of Nile Kiesel. Uh, I cannot thank enough here my two friends and colleagues, um, Nisreen, uh, Nisreen and Nisra. We go way back, really. And I believe that like one of our very early uh, sessions that we started, okay, uh, you know, outreach face-to-face -face sessions in learning technologies um, in Alexandria, she was there uh, in yeah. her presence. And I mean, she was- At Alexandria University, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, Faculty of Education where she belongs really. Um, and I belong really. So it's like, um, that was like home. So interesting to uh, have her. And always, uh, you know, it's, it's full of fun and games. It's full of energy to have you. Um, you're quite creative. You're quite- Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, Dr. Thank and you. And I really am honored. It's my really pleasure and honor to be working you. with you anywhere, anytime, dear. Same here, likewise. Helpies, uh, just uh, met with you, you know, face-to-face -face one time. Luckily, 
before the COVID-19 helpies. We've done a marvelous session in, uh, in um, uh, Tanta, um, and that was a real uh, hit, a big hit indeed, really. Um, you were, again, uh, one of the, our best presenters, captivating the audience, involving them in various uh, games and, you know, uh, interactive activities. I do appreciate uh, your joining us and uh, participating on such a short notice. Uh, you're always ready. I mean, creative teachers are always ready. So if you Thank are you, a teacher... Thank you, for your generous uh, invitation. Well, I'm I so lucky to have uh, this invitation with you. Uh, likewise, thank you, uh, ladies, so much. So to end uh, this session uh, and sign off uh, today uh, is, um, again, what's today's date? Yes, it's uh, Wednesday, June the 24th, 2020. Now it is uh, about 15 minutes uh, past nine at Cairo time. This is Niall Tiesel, uh, PD Committee, Hannah Khamis. See you next week with one of our activities to be announced. I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be sharing it uh, on our page, virtual uh, PD events. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye. See you thank later. You, thank you very much and it's a pleasure being with you all. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Bye, bye. See you later. Thank you. Thank Bye. you very much, sir. Bye.